Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. My name is Max and what I'd like to discuss and go over today is how to install a LAMP server. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and begin. Um, to begin with, to install a LAMP server you're going to need an operating system, um, a Linux operating system. Um, for this tutorial the Linux operating system that we will be using will be an Ubuntu server. This particular server is going to be Ubuntu Server 22.04 LTS. LTS meaning long term service. So, let's go ahead and begin. First of all, what I'd like to talk about is the acronym of what LAMP means. So I got my little chart here. I hope it I hope everybody can see this. So when we're talking about a lamp, usually people refer to it as a lamp stack. Okay. Um, so with a lamp stack, and yeah, I know there's plenty of videos on lamp stacks, on how to install them, on how to use them. Um, this is another one, but hopefully this one will be a little quicker, a little bit more accurate, because it's going to be a part of a video series. Not only are we going to be talking about the installation of the LAMP stack, but hopefully in other videos, we're going to also be talking about how to secure it and how to use it. So, to begin with, with the LAMP stack, it's an acronym. We'll go over that now. L means Linux meaning installing a Linux operating system. And for, day, we're, for today, we're going to be installing, as I said, Ubuntu 22.04. Uh, the A in the LAMP stack stands for Apache. In this case, it's going to be Apache 2. And that's going to be our web server. And then the M in the LAMP stack is standing for our database which is either going to be MySQL or Maria Database. It doesn't matter either one. They were both created by the same man and they both accept the same type of commands. We'll go over that later too. And then the P in the LAMP stack usually stands for PHP, but it can also stand for Perl for all of you uh, Perl mongers out there or it could stand for Python. Alright. In this case, it's going to be uh, PHP and all of the plugins and extensions that we install for that because later on, after installing PHP, we're going to install uh, WordPress. WordPress was um, created through PHP, so that's the um, programming language or the scripting language we're going to use. And to let you know, um, Linux is the operating system, Apache is the, the web server, and uh, PHP is a scripting language and that's going to be able to uh, communicate with the database. So in a nutshell, that's what we're doing. So we'll go ahead and minimize that. And we'll go ahead and open up the terminal. And you can see my uh, my Linux operating system. Let me see, where is it at? There it is, right there. I hope that's big enough for you guys to see. So as I said, as I keep saying, this is a, a Linux um, distribution. Let's see if I got NeoFetch installed on here. I should, oops. I should also type it incorrectly, right? Oh, maybe I don't have it installed. All right, that's okay. Let's clear the screen. You can either type in clear to clear the screen, or on your keyboard, you can hit the control button and the letter L. L is in light. That'll clear the screen. Now, we can also see what distribution we have by running this command, cat over slash Etsy and then star then release then press enter and as we can see this is the distribution that I'm using 
Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and clear the screen again. Now in the interest of uh, saving time, I've already went ahead and pre-installed all of the packages that we need. But to go ahead and go over the commands themselves, um, we are going to use the, um, the package manager known as apt because in most cases, if you're going to be installing the packages for a server, most people are going to be using that server from the command line. And uh, apt is going to be the package manager that you use to install all of the packages and software that you need. So since we already installed Linux, and if you want to know how to install Ubuntu 22.04, I will include a link to another video that I created for uh, showing you how to install Ubuntu Server 22.04. Other than that, let's go ahead and start with the, um, that takes care of the L in the lamp. So let's go ahead and start with the A in the lamp, which would be to install Apache. And so let me go ahead and uh, hit up on my arrow and get the last and get the command for that okay so this is the command for for installing the Apache web server alright this is gonna be the Apache web server that we're gonna install and this right here Apache 2 utilities you would install this you don't need this but this is this is a package that you would install if you wanna secure or for more security of your Linux uh, Apache server. Other than that, the command is very simple. It's just sudo space apt space install. And then I use the switch minus Y. You don't have to use the switch, but if you do use it, it lets the, um, the software know that you wanna go ahead and install uh, your packages without answering any any further questions it just installs the default packages without any interruption and so then I just go ahead and press enter it's gonna say that the packages have already been installed right so that takes care of the L and the A in the Linux Apache uh, stack the next thing that we want to go over is installing the M the M standing for MySQL or my database or MySQL or Maria database. And like I say, I'm hit the up arrow. And we're gonna quickly go over that command. Let's see, where is it? It's gonna be Maria. There it is, right there. And you're just gonna type in the command sudo space app space install. And then your option, you can choose the Y uh, switch or not and then you can either type in Maria dash server for the Maria database or if you're more particular and you like MySQL you can just type in my SQL dash server but to remain up to date I, I chose to go ahead and install Maria DB, DB meaning database, and then you press enter. Again, since I've already pre-installed it, it's going to say it's already installed. Uh, put in your username or your password when prompted, and as you can see, that's already installed. Okay, and then the next thing that we're going to install is, let's see, that's the LAM. We've already covered the M. In the lamp the last thing that we're going to do is install the packages for our PHP uh, extensions now once again if you are going to be installing WordPress which eventually we're going to do then you're going to need these packages so that WordPress can work with uh, PHP and most people call them extensions and I happen to have them uh, right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste them and then we'll put them here in the terminal
And then those are the packages right there that you want to install if you're going to be using WordPress. Okay, so it's going to be sudo space apt space install. And then as usual, you can either use the uh, Y switch or not. If you don't use the Y switch, then it's going to ask you if you want to install these packages. And you're going to get to choose whether to say yes or no. If you do use this uh, this Y switch, it won't ask you that. It'll just go ahead and um, bypass all those uh, questions, and it'll go ahead and install these packages. And so, real quickly, as you can see, there's a lot of them here. And don't worry, I'll have a documentation with a link to the, to the PDF with all of these packages, so you can just go ahead and copy and paste them into your command line and once again I'm gonna go ahead and press enter and it's gonna tell me that all those packages are already installed oh well I thought I had already installed them I guess it's installing them again alright and then just press enter all basic questions and that's done okay so for now we are done installing the Linux lamp, lamp uh, packages uh, the only other thing you want to do now is you want to test your data you want to test your database or no, you don't want to test your database. No, we, we will do that in the next video. But we do want to test our Apache web server. All right. So let's go ahead and clear the screen. And what we want to do, what I usually do is I get the IP address for my web server, right? And so what I'm going to do is on older systems, what you would type would be if config space minus a. All right, but on newer Linux systems, that command does not work because it's a part of the network um, the network manager package, and I don't have that installed. That's no longer installed by default. You'll have to go ahead and install that. So what you would use instead will be IP space I, or, or I'm sorry, IP space either a for short or address all right and then you can either use s or show and then you press enter all right and this shows you your active interface which is right here number two this right here is your loop back interface all right but what we're looking for is our IP address and that's right here all right, so it's 192.168.1.21. Now, the reason why I have this is because this is an internal um, uh, server that's on my computer. It's actually a virtual uh, machine. Okay, so it's working off of my internal network. But I should be able to log into, I should be able to use it to go to my um to my Apache server. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy this. We're going to open up a browser. You can open up a browser on any other machine. I'll go to another tab and then I will go ahead and paste and go that IP address. And let's see, will it come up? If it hangs too long, that means that it didn't come up. That could be for several reasons. So what we will do is we will go ahead and close that. We will go back to our terminal. And what we will do is we will go ahead and restart the services for our, our, our Apache server. And so to do that, you'll just write in, you'll just type in the command sudo apt sudo s y s t m c t l space 
and then you want to restart the Apache server and then you want to type in the Apache sorry I can't type today attack Apache 2 and then you just press enter and then to check and see that it is working you can type in sudo system ctl status space apache and maybe we can even tab this out no okay and then press enter so it should be up and running as we see right here good and then to get out of this we just press q Oh, wait a minute, let's get that IP address. Oh, I think it was 21. So let's go ahead and type in that IP address again. 192.168.1.21, press enter. Okay, it's still not coming up. And so at this point, if it's still not coming up, we will need to make a few more adjustments, which we will do in this video. So, the next thing we'll need to go over for our LAMP server is we'll need to check two things in particular. Right? The first thing we'll need to check is our firewall. Because since Apache is a web server, the web, well, the web server listens for requests on a particular port. And that port for Apache 2 is going to be... Um, port 80. Um, well, let's go ahead and look at that. First let's check and see if it's listening on port 80. To do that let's run this command here. Uh, it's going to be sudo space ss space minus tulpn. Um, ss meaning uh, secure socket the old command for this before SS was um, netstat. And then we'll go over the switches here. Minus T, that stands for TCP. Uh, minus R, and the U stands for UDP. The L stands for listening. The port, the P stands for ports. And the N stands for number. Okay. And then once we do that, we press enter. All right, we can see that it is looking, it is listening right here off of port 80. All right, so that's good. Now, let's go ahead and clear the screen. And then next thing we want to do is look at our firewall. By default, the firewall for Ubuntu 22.04 is known as UFW. It stands for Uncomplicated Firewall. Let's go ahead and look at the status of our firewall. Uh, UFW is the front end for IP tables. So to look at that, what we'll do is we'll run this command. It's sudo. And for checking out your firewall, you always want to use um, uh, sudo writes. So it's going to be sudo space UFW space status. And then you're going to press enter. Okay, so here we got, here's here's what seems to be the issue. Right now, we only got port 750 open. We do not have port 80 open. So, it looks like what we need to do is open up port 80. So, very simple command to do that. We just type in sudo space ufw space and then we want to type in the port that we want to allow. Oh, we want to type in the command allow and then the port, which is going to be 80 slash TCP. Okay. And then we're just going to go ahead and press enter. As you can see, it says the command was, <clears throat> the command was added. So and let's just make sure we'll hit the up arrow and we'll check on the status again. And yes, it was added for IP or for TCP for um, IP version four. And this is for 
IP version 6. So we have port 80. And just to make sure that that sticks, those rules sticks, what we're going to need to do is reload our firewall. And so we're going to use two specific commands. The first one is going to be sudo space ufw space reload. Okay, firewall was loaded. And then we're going to do a sudo space systemctl space restart space ufw. And also, we're going to use the third command. I forgot this one. We're going to we're going to also restart the server. So we can do that with I'm going to hit the backspace and I'm going to take out ufw and type in Apache 2. Okay. Now, after doing all that, we should be able to get a successful uh, a successful uh, look at our web server. So let's go ahead and type in our IP address again. Press Enter. And there we have it. This is the default web page that you would see for your web server once it has been successfully installed. Okay, so we are done for today. This is um, this has been the first video in our LAMP series. We have successfully installed all of the packages for our, our uh, LAMP server. But stay tuned, we have other videos and packages coming up. Um, all of the commands for today, I have them uh, in a PDF document, which I will leave in the description of this video with the link to all of those documents. Um, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys looking at this video. I hope you have a good day or night, wherever you guys are, and whatever pronouns you use. Thank you very much and have a good day.